Hello everyone, I'm Pharmacist Michael, and today I'm going to talk about a group of drugs called statins. And the reason I want to talk about this is that there is a controversy out there of whether you should take the statins, whether you shouldn't take it, who should take it, who shouldn't, what are the side effects. So I am just going to give you a brief synopsis of these drugs, what they do, why you might want to take them, and what the side effects are. So the first thing I want to say is cardiovascular disease is a leading cause of death in the United States. And it actually is the cause of one in every four deaths. We know that in 2019, 558,000 deaths were caused by heart disease. And in the same year, 109,000 deaths were attributed to stroke. So heart disease is a big problem. And what causes heart disease? Well, we'll get to the risk factors later. But cholesterol is a big part of this, right? And if you think about it, if you have too much cholesterol floating around in your blood, what ends up happening is plaques form in your vessels. And these plaques can not only obstruct the flow of blood to your organs, places that need oxygen, but these little pieces of plaque can also break off. And when they break off, they can cause a stroke because if they go you know, to your brain, they can block oxygen to certain parts of your brain, causing a stroke. They can also cause what we call a pulmonary embolism, which can kill you, right? So it's important to keep your cholesterol levels reasonable. So what is a statin? Well, a statin is an HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. That's what us pharmacists call it. And basically what it does is it inhibits an enzyme that helps your liver make more cholesterol. To make it easy, that's what happens. It basically stops your liver from making cholesterol. We know that 75% of the cholesterol in your body is made by your body, and 25% comes from the foods you eat. Now, it depends on the person. If you're a vegan, you're probably not gonna get much cholesterol in your diet because you don't eat meat, right? So it depends, but on the average, people that eat regular diets, you know, the, the Western diet, which I would agree is not the best, but 75, 25. Now there are several statins available. Who needs to be taking these? Well, that depends on your risk factors and your age. If you've had a heart attack or a stroke in the past, it's probably a good idea to take a statin. If you're 40 to 75 years old and you have diabetes or you're at high risk of heart disease, it's a good idea. If you're a smoker, it's a good idea because remember, smoking increases your chance of heart disease. Or if you go to the doctor and they find out that you have high cholesterol, especially the bad type of cholesterol, which is low density lipoprotein, right? The high density lipoprotein is good cholesterol, low density lipoprotein is bad. So why doesn't everybody just take these? If we know that cholesterol is possibly, if it gets too high in your body, it's going to cause plaques and you might have a stroke and you could die from heart disease. Why doesn't everybody just take them? Why don't we put everybody on them? Little kids, whatever, right? Well, it's because all drugs have side effects. There's no free lunches when it comes to drugs. They all have adverse effects and statins are no different. So what are some of the adverse effects of these drugs? Well, for one, they cause nausea, vomiting, excess gas, diarrhea, your GI side effects. Some people get muscle aches from the statins. And this is one of the things that makes a lot of people stop taking them is their muscles get sore 
after they take them for a, a short period of time. Now, what's interesting about this side effect is we know that if people already know about this, so if they've watched the news or a video like this and they know that a statin may cause muscle pain, their chances of getting muscle pain are a lot higher. And how do we know this? We know this because studies have shown that a lot of people get muscle pain even from the placebos that we give them. Remember, when we do drug studies, we compare a group of people that are getting the actual drug to a group of people that think they're getting the actual drug but are not. And then we compare the difference between the two. So the placebo gives some people muscle pain. And most of those people are probably people that know that this drug can cause that. Now let's get to the serious side effects. One of them is rhabdomyolysis. And rhabdomyolysis is a very severe side effect. Now it doesn't happen in many people. What is rhabdomyolysis? Rhabdomyolysis is basically a breakdown of the muscles, which can cause kidney and liver damage and failure, and it can actually lead to death. So it is a major issue when it happens. Some people that lift a lot of weights, if they overdo it, they can end up with rhabdomyolysis. Some other drugs cause it too, but that's one of the main severe side effects of a statin. Statins can also cause problems with your liver in general, right? So it's good to get your liver function test checked if you're on a statin. But if you start to experience bad nausea, yellowing of your eyes or your skin, loss of appetite, pain in your lower abdomen, or dark colored urine, this is a time to call your doctor and tell them about this. Because we may need to change you to a different statin, change the dose, or just take you off it completely. That's not a pharmacist's job. <laughs> That's the doctor's job. But definitely, if you have those side effects, let the doctor know. We also know that taking statins can possibly increase your blood sugar and cause type 2 diabetes. This is another big problem. If it happens, it doesn't happen to a lot of people, but it does happen. And it's bad enough that the FDA has actually issued a warning on statin labels saying that they may cause diabetes. We think that this usually happens when patients already have higher blood sugar, but there's still studies being done on this. We also think that if you have diabetes, that your chances of having a heart attack or a stroke are higher, obviously, and we believe that the risk of that is higher than the risk of taking the statin. But again, we're still doing studies on this. And the last thing that I wanna tell you about side effects is they can cause neurological damage, loss of memory, and confusion. And if these things happen to you, let your doctor know. These will resolve generally if you stop taking the medication. So who's at higher risk for side effects from statins? People that take multiple medications because there's a lot of drug interactions out there. The more medications you take together, the higher the risk of you having side effects. That's just the way it is. If you're taking one drug, your risk is way less than if you're taking 10. So that's one group. Females have a higher risk of side effects. People who have a smaller body frame, those over the age of 80. If you have certain conditions, like hypothyroidism is one, you're at higher risk of side effects. If you already have kidney or liver disease, your risk goes up. And of course, if you drink alcohol, remember the statins affect the liver and drinking too much alcohol also affects the liver. So if you're drinking every day and taking a statin, you're increasing your chances of problems happening. The other thing I'm gonna tell you that's, that people think is kind of strange, but it's true, is grapefruit juice interacts with statins. So if you're taking a statin, don't drink grapefruit juice. And there's also drugs that interact with statins, and I'm not gonna go through them all. Ask your pharmacist, send me an email, michael.brown at sunshinentc.com, and I will tell you if your drugs interact with each other. You can send me your list and I'll take a look at it. I'll also tell you if I think that it's reasonable for whatever they're trying to treat. I specialize in psychiatry, so that's what I'm gonna know the most about, but I can pretty much look anything up and take a look. As long as it's not chemotherapy, 
I'm not real good at that. So to conclude this video, this is just like any other drug therapy. This is risk versus benefit. We know that your risk of heart disease is high if you're a certain type of person. We know that some people just have the genetic makeup which makes their liver make more cholesterol than others. So if your cholesterol levels are high, the chances of you getting heart disease and dying from it are a lot higher than if your cholesterol levels are low. That being said, we know statins will help decrease the cholesterol level, but we also know they come with some side effects and some of them are severe. Even though they happen in only a few people, they can still, you could be one of those few people, right? So I'm going to tell you to have a good conversation with your doctor. You should be seeing your doctor yearly. I'm definitely not telling you not to take a statin. I think they do save a lot of lives. But if you take drugs of any kind, any kind of medications, always make sure you're looking for signs of problems, right? So in the case of a statin, it would be muscle weakness, muscle pain, yellowing of your skin, eyes, dark urine, stuff like that. You want to make sure, or if you get memory loss, right? And if those things happen, don't just stop taking it and not tell anybody. Call your doctor and see if there's something else you can use. There are supplements you can take that can help with some of these things. Niacin is one. Red yeast rice extract is one. But those really depend on how high your cholesterol is. And what is it? Triglycerides? Is it LDL? Is it HDL? What is it, right? So I hope you've learned something from this video. I think statins are great drugs if used appropriately. And, you know, I do not have huge problems with them at all. I know a lot of people take them and I do think they save lives. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you know somebody who needs to see this, maybe they're taking a statin, maybe they should be taking a statin, or maybe they should be seeing a doctor, period. Please send this video to them. Subscribe to this channel, and I will let you know that this video is a direct result of somebody asking me to do it. So if you want a drug or even a condition covered on here, let me know and I will get to it as soon as I can. This channel is for you. This channel is to give you information and that's what I do it for. I'm Pharmacist Michael. Be happy and be healthy.